what's going on? Hope you all are enjoying your Memorial Day weekend off or we all just may still be in quarantine doing the same thing. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Can't wait for you to see this video. As well as for everyone who isn't already, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like at the end, and leave a comment as well. We love your comments. So today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing on none other than the Yeezy 500 highs in the Tyrians. This is my first silhouette in the 500, so I'm actually extremely excited to see what the silhouette looks like. I wanna talk about how it feels because I've never owned a pair of 500s before. I've seen them many times, but finally an opportunity came where I was like, I really am digging these colors. So let's check it out, shall we? in this box. Ooh, liking this silhouette. So the thing that I that first, you know, is occurring to me when I see the silhouette is it reminds me of a boot, a hiking boot per se. This is definitely so different from other Yeezys that I've done unboxings for. This does not look like the 350. This does not look like my 700s or my 380s or my MMVNs. This is just in a completely different category. So this silhouette launched in the Lowe's in 2018. And I knew the silhouette then as the rats because that's what everybody was kind of calling it then. And I just kind of assumed, I'm like, oh, there's the rat silhouette. It was kind of actually my least favored silhouette in the Yeezy family. It was just one of those shoes where I saw them people's feet and I was like, I don't know, it's, it's okay. Uh, but the high is just completely different. And there's something about the shoe that I just kind of like. And I definitely have been kind of in search of a nice new hiking boot. And I feel like this is the perfect shoe for that. And I do think in some respect, this shoe has actually been a bit overlooked. Uh, I think this is a great, just overall package shoe that's been well made. And that's what I kind of want to go through here with you guys. We're going to get some closer up shots so you can actually see the different materials that were used on the shoe, but it's very, very high quality materials. We've got neoprene, which are these pockets here. So this is actually like a bluish navy purple tones that they're giving me here with this vibe. And these are just neoprene pockets that are actually just inside of this dark kind of chocolatey suede that wraps around the shoe into the toe. And then we have this really high quality dark black leather that's encapsulated in between those chocolate suede tones and the neoprene that has this bluish navy purple tone going on. And this is really, the neoprene's really squishy. I mean, this is definitely like, I feel like if a rock were to fall while you were hiking and hit into the shoe, this would definitely protect your foot. I mean, this is super, super padded. And the neoprene also, it goes all the way up here into the tongue. So if you guys remember going back to the original uh, silhouette, they actually, exchanged the mesh material that was used in here and they put in a more padded material, which is the neoprene. And I think this is definitely great, especially if you're planning on, you know, wearing this shoe in the winter time because mesh is definitely more breathable, but neoprene is definitely a better material. I feel like if you're going to be rocking this in colder weather and, uh, They've got, it looks like the strong material rubber that wraps around here. And this is definitely for some stronger durability. So if you are hiking or you're walking around, it's definitely gonna protect the shoe, especially from abrasions. This is some strong rubber, but what I like is this is a very lightweight shoe. I literally was just holding like a pair of Kobe's that are about the same shape and size of this. And this is actually way lighter than that shoe as well as a hiking boot. Hiking boots are pretty, 
they're pretty, you know, bulky and heavy. And that's a lot of weight to be lifting too. If you're, you know, going up and down a mountain, it's, it's a bit hard. Uh, so the midsole here is actually adiprene. And this was the first silhouette that Kanye West and the Adidas line decided uh, out of all the Yeezys, they were not going to use that Boost system. And Boost is what, you know, I love the Yeezys for because it's so comfortable. But the Adiprene is actually drawing inspiration from the 90s archive. So Adidas is not new to Adiprene. This isn't, you know, a new addition to their shoes. It's just different from the Boost. It's definitely not as high quality as the Boost are, but Definitely very, very comfortable. Definitely very comfortable. And as we see here, this is definitely a new lacing system. And this is definitely for a more comfortable, easier, more adjustable fit. This actually reminds me of the MNVN lacing system as well. These shoes are very easy to slip on and off. And I love that because, you know, hiking shoes can be a nightmare where you have to go through each and every lace loop to kind of wrap it around, get it tight to your foot. And this is just so easy to lace and pull tight. And it'll be extremely snug around your ankles and, you know, just a quick shoe that you don't have to worry about, you know, struggling to take the time to put it on and off, especially, you know, when you're coming in the house, bringing and tracking in mud. I don't like to have to, you know, take extra time taking my shoes on and off. So these are great for that. And I'm looking, this is definitely, this is very grippy on the bottom. They did a very good job. So this is definitely, you know, some good quality rubber in here. It's going to keep you from slipping and sliding. I really, really like that. Very cool. This adiprene technology though, I don't know. I don't think this is something to be overlooked. I put on these shoes and they're so comfortable. I mean, it's definitely not the same feeling as the Boost, but the adiprene is definitely something that, you know, helps with extreme impact on your foot. So especially if you're going, you know, downstairs and things like that, this is going to prevent you from feeling that impact. It's a very good system that they built into this shoe. Let's see what else we have around here. Other than that, guys, I think this is just a great structured shoe. We've got the Adidas here. I'm going to look inside. It says Yeezy on the inside of that insole. All right, I just looked inside one of the shoes and found that they also give you an additional set of laces. And this is definitely a little bit different material. This isn't as slick as the laces that are currently on the shoe, but I love that they give you the option. This is definitely like a hiker's lace. And, you know, sometimes things happen, laces get destroyed. So it's always nice to just have that second option. All right, now let's get into the fit and sizing of these shoes. These are great because they definitely are going to protect the entirety of your foot and it's definitely going to keep it in place. As far as ankle support, you're going to get that in here as well as for me, I have very high arches and there's, you know, just great support in here for those high arches that I have. The sizing, I went again up a size, not a size, a half a size. So I'm typically a 7.5 in men's. And with these, I ordered a size eight because with a boot shoe like this, I typically am not going to wear a very thin sock. I'm definitely going to be wearing thicker padded socks that take up a lot more space. And also as far as playing it safe, I mean, I'd rather go up in a size and it'd be just a tad bit big than buying a shoe where my toes are going to be crammed in the toe box and it's just not going to be comfortable. So that's what I would recommend once again. And that translation from women to men, it's 7.5 is equal to a woman's nine. And I go obviously half a size up to an eight. So that would be a nine and a half in women's. All right, now that we've gone through the sizing, I'm going to move on. Actually, sorry, I need to push those all the way out so far. Thank you. Box, this is a bulky box. Definitely bigger than the boxes I'm used to saying. 
we're going to get more into some background on this specific silhouette. I want to talk about the first colorway, which was the slate color. And this specific silhouette came out first in 2019 in December. And it was the first time that they made it in the high top versus the low top. And the slate was a great colorway, I feel like, that they started with. Um, so Kobe Bryant, this is a little history that I didn't actually know. Kobe Bryant's third signature Adidas basketball sneaker served as the inspiration behind the inclusion of the lighter gray feet you wear sole. No idea. Uh, so back in 1999, when Kobe had or wore his third installment of his signature Adidas kicks, the KB 83s. Those were actually altered just slightly and used on the Yeezy 500 silhouette. As you see in this picture, they're very, very similar. I had no idea that that inspiration came from a Kobe Bryant shoe. Very cool. All righty, moving on to resale for my resellers out there. I do not think that this is a great shoe to buy if you're trying to make a large profit off of it. I think this is definitely an overlooked silhouette and it's one of those shoes I feel like if you try it on, you fall in love with it. But as far as resale goes, the retail price for these shoes ran at 220. The interesting thing about the silhouette, which is different in comparison to other silhouettes, is that it is the same price as the low tops in the 500 silhouette. So you're not really actually having to pay more for more material, which is great. Thanks, Easy, for that uh, price point. Also, as far as base sizes go, the retail is pretty much around the same, if maybe not $30 or more or so higher. And you can probably find a couple sizes, depending on what size you are, lower than retail value. I think this is a great shoe if you actually just wanna get it for a lower price point than retail. This is a great starter signature Yeezy silhouette. As far as light, larger sizes go, I would say you're gonna do better like super high, like size 17, those are going for around 270, so you're gonna make a little bit of profit, but you know, definitely not the shoe for resellers, I feel like, to make a ton of cash. And now we're gonna get more into the styling. We filmed the styling outside so that you get a different idea on how these colors look outside. Cause I do, as I've mentioned in my other videos, think that the coloring of shoe differs versus lighting inside versus the lighting outdoors. And so the first look that we started with was an all black cargo jumpsuit. And I paired it with a bomber jacket that had a bit of pop of color on the inside, a little orange. And that is a Vetmont uh, bomber jacket. So I thought that was a good pairing, a little oversized wardrobe for you. But I think that all black look definitely goes very well with these three colors. And it definitely makes these shoes pop because it has this beautiful blue coloring that's mixed in there with that chocolate suede with highlights of that dark, kind of rigid, broken in leather. Uh, the second look, I mixed it up because, you know, we're getting into warmer weather. It's not so cold these days. It felt like it was, I don't know, over 70 today, even though it said it was in the 60s. But uh, I paired that with some shorts and I had a tie-dyed multicolored plaid top. And that is just a second option because I think that bright colors definitely go well with the silhouette. And I chose something that kind of had this blue tone intermixed with it. Also just based upon the fact that I think these go great with shorts, skirts, anything that you kind of want to show your legs off. And I just paired it with some thicker hiking socks. And on the last outfit, I had a bodycon black fitted dress. And it's just a cotton simple dress that I also added a vest to and a nice brown belt just because I think that you can actually wear these boots with a dressier outfit. It doesn't have to be so casual. So I just wanted to give you that third option where you know you can pair these shoes with a little dressier casual outfit. And that is for styling. I'm so excited to announce that we have hit 2,500 subscribers. This is crazy because our channel is brand new. But once again, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, we are giving the 3,000 subscriber 
Oreo cookies as well as a poncho. So don't forget, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. We are going to be giving the 3000 subscriber some goodies. So thanks so much guys for joining and tuning in on this holiday weekend. Love to see you guys checking out, you know, each of our new videos that we post on a day-to-day -day basis. We have so much coming out here soon. We've copped so many shoes and I'm just waiting for their arrival. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be posting a video on how to organize your shoes during quarantine. So I'm so excited for you to tune in to watch that. But until then, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like at the end if you enjoyed it, as well as leave your comments. Would you cop these shoes? Did you cop these shoes? Or would you just give it a pass? Let me know. Love to hear from you guys. We'll catch you later.